So with these two of us, Franek and I, because there are uh, some testimonies to share. So um, the best and most powerful is to share how you feel pretty much. And that's what we're going to do. Our experience started on Monday, Monday when Franek got from school and he had a little bit of sore throat and he wasn't 100%. And uh, we just watched, we observe, and then we kind of talk, and I knew nothing to worry. And on Tuesday he went to school, he wasn't really 100%, but still was okay. And Tuesday night, his temperature uh, rised up to 39.4, and it stayed like that. It stayed like that for 24 hours, yes. During that night, it was from Tuesday to Wednesday, he got to the point when he had 40.04 degrees. Normally, with my first child, probably I would panic, I would feed him with Nurofen and Panadol and completely be very stressed out. However, you know, we've been doing this low carb um, ketovore kind of diet and our immunities are pretty strong. And uh, listening to so many awakened doctors who really explain what's the fever in your body and what's uh, high temperature uh, purpose is, it's, it's pretty much fighting the virus and fighting the bacteria. So we didn't put any cold press, we didn't give him any neurofin. I was just next to him, observing, uh, feeding him with, uh, giving him water and that's it. He was pretty much sleeping. And I was trying to make him sweat because when you sweat out, then you change, then the um, bad stuff is fighting even more. And apparently after that, you get better and better. I just followed my intuition I, and I just followed the knowledge that I have received um, throughout the last few months. So yes, I was stressing, especially when your thermometer tells you it's 40.04. You just need to try when you understand the process. Plus his body is very, very strong because he eats very, very well. He eats animal fats and animal products and he was out with sugar for the last few days. So his immunity was really strong. And it's a shame that I haven't actually video him. He was just sleeping, resting, sleeping, resting, drinking some water. So what happened when this 40 degree heat, it lasted for almost, almost three hours and suddenly he started to sweat. So he was very agitated because he was so cold. And I actually, you know, rugged him and cuddled him with the blanket because I knew he needs to sweat and he did. And guess what? Around 4 p.m. Uh, yesterday, his temperature slowly started to go down. So he dropped to 39.3 and then 39.1 and then he his color was different his face was different and he asked for food why is that important because we cannot eat and we cannot push um, kids to eat when they sick when you have an inflammation and when you have high fever pranic is not 100 percent still and as you can see but if you have high temperature high fever the worst thing you can do is to eat your body needs 100% to fight with the viruses and bacteria inside you. And the high temperature is the sign that is going well and working well and fighting strong. So when you give your body another job, which is like digesting a food, and then here is the asterisk, what kind of food you eat then, it has another job. So it cannot completely focus on fighting the fever, the fighting the disease or the virus or bacteria. Okay, I get excited. Deep breath, slow down. So why I'm sharing that? Because I am so passionate that your body is such an intelligent, um, beautiful tool that you can use. You live in your body, you live with your body, you are who you are, you are what you eat, you are what you don't eat. So from an example here, I want to be inspiration to you that it is worth to feed your child a healthy, full of nutritious, which means fat, animal fats, animal protein, good nutrition, dense food. Every single food you eat should be filled with nutrition. Cut the carbs, cut the sugar, cut the processed food, cut all the junkies, all the packages. And when your child has a little bit of temperature, let the body heal itself and fight the bad bacteria. Because guess what happened? 
Yesterday around five he asked for food and what I had was the sauerkraut pork dish which was filled with beautiful nutrients and he ate very slowly warm bowl of that and he was okay. Then he slept throughout the night then he woke up today he's of course weak as you can see imagine 40 degrees six year old fighting so if you have any question please reach out i'm so passionate and i'm so um so focused on healthy eating and connecting the dots and using our body as our strength and feeding our body with the best that we can to actually serve us as much as it's possible okay school five more minutes school ball school bell what else Franek, do you want to say how you feel today good a little bit tired no not 100 percent your voice is still a little bit a little bit sore throat but it was worth it and mommy is very proud of you and you proud of yourself <laughs> so Probably if we were eating standard Australian diet or standard American diet, which is the same, filled with processed food, carbohydrates and junkies and chocolate and different things, probably he won't be able to go through such a high fight within his body. However, if you strengthen your immune system, the immune system will help you when you fight the disease. I think that's it six minutes hopefully you will listen please share please ask please reach out please let's get that as an inspiration not that i'm trying to be wise the one here but i'm so passionate about that and i think it's word when we share the story because normally you go to your doctor and there will be panic yes give neurofen three, three hours later give panadol but no one thinks that they are filled with sugar they are filled with such artificial sweeteners and your body suddenly is not working the way the way it's supposed to work so i hope it was inspiration thank you for listening thank you for your uh, support and please share and let me know what your thoughts are thank you those gabriella from embrace your life <laughs> See ya.